Alright guys, welcome back to DIY or Die, and today I'm just going to show you how to have a little bit of fun with good old CRT TV here. It's got to be working. You can get these anywhere for free, nobody wants them anymore. So I always just take the back cover off, clear all this junk out, spray it out because you're usually full of cigarette smoke. And then uh, just splice it together here because the, uh, the cord was broken on this one, so I just did that. Hooked it up to here, got on the very X just to... Because, uh, you know, I've never turned this on before, so I don't really, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to just, you know, blow up on me or something here. So let's turn it on. And we'll slowly turn this up. Oh, it uh, made a, made quite the quite the bang there. It's just a relay clunking though. And you can always use the current meter here. And as you can see, no current, so we're good. Let's try this thing out here now. I'll just put this camera on a stand here and we'll be back. Alrighty, we're back here. And uh, I'll just quickly unplug this thing here. Give this a flick. Now, most people think that if you were to touch the output of this, you would uh, get shocked. But if you, I've done it before on purpose, and all this does is just feels like a very faint static shock and then you're just charged. It's just charging you with like 30 kilovolts DC. It's just like a big, it's kind of like a Van de Graaff generator almost. It's a lot more dangerous though because if you do uh, ground yourself out to any part of the circuit that it's referenced to, you will get shocked. So you just got to make sure that you're not referencing yourself back to the TV and mains somehow. So yeah. Chicken stick obviously. Like I said before, not the nicest thing to get shot by. Alright, so we got it on. Not turned on yet, but we will turn it on here. Here we are. Hear that? And now you don't want to go to that, to where the flyback normally goes, because that won't get you the sparks. You want to go to ground. Like right here. Ah, uh, see this one's got a safety circuit in it. Let's try this again. You just have to turn the power cycle and then it'll turn back on. We only got one on that one. I'll give you some different shots here. You can't really see it from head on here. Alright, here we go. We're going to turn it back on here. Let's reach around here. There we go. Or do this with a couple hands. Woo. She's got some bite to her. You can go to any this this little black painted area right here. That's uh, that's ground. This isn't. Well, it's still going to it, but it's not ground. Uh, bolt here, here is. Some of those arcs, man. Those are big. And see, this does hold a charge. It's basically a vacuum with two inner and outer plates. So the glass is dielectric, and so that makes a capacitor, and you do not want to touch that. Let's give her another go here. See, I can, I can touch this if I want. Oop. You gotta be careful of that back there. It was one dark to that. But yeah, you can have a you can have a lot of fun with these. I've uh, taken actually a couple of these apart and just isolated the variac. I've just cut out the rest of the board, and then I've just used the transistor driver there, like the HOT transistor, and then the. Uh, just the power circuit on that end and then you just splice them together or you can use your own power circuit like the one I have here and then you have yourself a nice flyback driver and it's pretty hard to kill them actually so they're, they're pretty fun to screw around with but uh, have fun and stay safe see you in the next one